everybody, Chef Britt here with ATBBQ.com and today we're making charred carrot soup. This is a pretty basic carrot soup, but we're gonna ramp up the flavors by charring the carrots directly on some coals. We're gonna cook them in some chicken stock and add some body later on into the soup. We're also gonna take our carrot peels and fry them to turn it into a garnish for our soup. Let's hop on in and get our carrots prepped. So I've got about two pounds of carrots here that I've already gone ahead and scrubbed and rinsed. So I'm gonna just go ahead and peel all these carrots and we're gonna save all of these scraps to turn into our garnish later on. And we're looking for really beautiful ribbons. So try and go the whole length of the carrot while you're peeling them here. This recipe is gonna be really great for anybody that is wanting to look for healthier options. And it can easily be modified for anybody who wants to do something more keto friendly or uh, vegan even. It just depends on what you normally have in your pantry. But the base of this is basically just carrots and stock. The next thing is just to uh, take off these sort of knobby ends and then cut them in half just to get them into more manageable sized pieces here um, when we cook them later. So the next thing we're going to do is season them up here with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Don't be shy. Vegetables love fat. And then we're going to get about a tablespoon of this Oak Ridge Jaw Love Jamaican Jerk Seasoning on there. Tons of great uh, baking spices as well as some good spice from some scotch bonnet peppers. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these up a little bit and just get all of that seasoning and fat to just adhere to the carrot. Now we're ready for the grill. Let's go. Today we're cooking on the Napoleon P500 RSIB and we've gone ahead and outfitted it here with the charcoal basket, so let's get our charcoal in there. All right. So we're just gonna load this up. Burners are on, they're nice and hot, so we're just gonna get these coals white hot before we put our carrots directly on there. Now that our coals are glowing hot, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the carrot pieces right onto the coals here. And we're just looking to get just a little bit of blackening, a little bit of char. We don't want these to be totally coated in black and ash, but just a little bit of heat to give it that smoky edge for our soup in the end would be perfect. That's perfect. That's the amount of blackening that we're looking for here. These have just about as much blackening as I like, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them over to my side burner here. That has some chicken stock in a four quart Dutch oven here. All right, so I'm gonna get the burner on. And in the meantime, I'm gonna continue grilling the rest of these carrots here. So now we're gonna just allow those carrots to cook. We're gonna bring that chicken stock up to a boil and then let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the carrots are totally soft and cooked through. We've been bubbling and brewing here for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna get one of the bigger carrots and I'm just gonna see what the resistance is there, which is basically none. So we're ready to blend this up. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat on that. And we're gonna just slowly blend it with the immersion blender here. We're 
just going to keep going until it's really velvety smooth. You don't see any more significant chunks. Honestly, you could probably stop right here if you really wanted to not add anything else, but we're going to go ahead and make a roux and we're going to give it a little more body and we're going to give it a little extra flavor with some dairy that we're going to add here. So pretty good, but let's make it better. All right, so to make the roux, we're just going to set a 10 inch cast iron pan here right on the coals to get hot. And we'll start with melting some butter, about two tablespoons. Now we're gonna follow up with a couple tablespoons of all-purpose flour here. And we're gonna cook this to a blonde roux. So we're gonna give a little bit of color in here. It's kinda gonna look like peanut butter once it's ready. You wanna keep stirring it just to keep the heat dispersion nice and even. before we start ladling in some of our uh, cooking liquid. We're getting some nice color in here. It's pretty much almost there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna temper this in by adding some of our liquid into the pan until it's um, thinned out and you'll see what I mean here. And you'll see the starches start to coagulate right away. So we're just going to keep adding this until it's thin enough to put back into our soup. It's important to keep it stirring and whisking the whole time. Keep that roux from clumping up. So now I'm going to add this all back into our pan. Right on in. And then we're just going to whisk that all together. Get it all dispersed nice and evenly. And I've got one more thing to add here. I am going to whisk up some egg yolks here. I've got three. Just gonna get those nice and soft here. I'm gonna add them right into my half and half. You guys are probably wondering why egg yolks? And really, um, it's gonna help thicken the soup, but it's also gonna lend this really nice sort of nutty flavor that matches with the carrots really well. And because there is a good spice level in there, this is also gonna help just kind of tone that down a little bit. It's really important to get it well blended in so you don't get any streaks of egg yolks that coagulate in there. Just working fast. The grill is off um, and the coals are still kind of fizzling out. So we're just gonna hold our soup nice and hot while we make our carrot ribbons here. So to make our ribbons, we're going to just start by blanching these in some hot water until they're kind of just tender, not really more than a minute or two. All right, now that this has come back up to a rolling boil, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull them here. They should be just tender enough. All right, so I'm just going to pat these dry. And in the meantime, while these are fully drying, I'm going to go ahead and empty this out and put some vegetable oil in there for frying. So we've got our vegetable oil here. We're temping right above 350. Anywhere between 375 and 350 is going to work really well for this. And I'm just going to work in batches. out there. And we're going to go until they're just slightly translucent in color and they're not bubbling so fiercely. All right, 
right, we can see they've deepened in color a little bit. They've even just shrunk in size slightly. So we'll start pulling those out. All right, so now we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna put this all together and give it a taste here. It smells so rich and smoky. I'm really excited. I'm gonna add just a little bit of our carrot ribbons. Yum. It's got a wonderful smoky flavor to it. Um, it's really sweet from the carrots. Man. And the spice just kind of hits you all the way down your throat. This will warm you to the bone for sure. All right, well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. If you like what you see, you want to check out more products, head on over to atbbq.com. And if you want to see more recipes, tips, and techniques, head on over to atbbq.com slash the sauce, and we'll see you around. All Things Barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.